Good morning. It's Wednesday. Is it? Is it Thursday? I don't know what day it is. I'll put it over my face. That's what day it is. We're in quarantine still. We're gonna be for a while. I'm about to go for a run. I haven't gone for a run since the word came down that we couldn't go out anymore. Which has actually only been, this is only like a couple days in, right? So because we went out for our, our really long walk on our last night of freedom. Uh, I went for a run the morning that we got locked down, and then I didn't go for a run yesterday. So I think today must is like basically day two and a half, however the numbering works. I don't know. Let's call it three. Today's day three. Although I, it feels like longer because I've been kind of self-quarantined for longer, you know? I don't know. Time's going to lose all meaning here in a minute. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to go for a run. I've got my paperwork with me, so I'm, I'm eating a banana. Otherwise, I'd show you the paperwork, but I've got my piece of paper. I've checked the box that I'm going out for exercise. Uh, I'm going to go for a run, and I'll let you know what the experience is like, because it could be weird. I could get stopped by the police. I really don't know what to expect, but I have a bunch of friends that have already done it yesterday, and they said that there was no real problem, so I'm going to go for a run in Paris and quarantine. We'll see what happens. Diggity dang. That was a good run. I ran at six and a half miles, I think. That I'd take advantage. It's gonna, I mean, I'm probably gonna just keep going for longer and longer runs because that's about all the sunshine I'm gonna get. I, I feel good. Actually, about the four mile mark, something from the, maybe about the five mile mark, I started to feel a little bit like, ah, and then I got through that and I was fine. So, and the, uh, I was just like kind of feeling it in my knees a little bit more. And then, yeah, felt great by the time I ended it, hearing a lot more neighbor chatter lately. But, uh, let me get inside and I'll tell you about the uh, the whole experience. That's a little bit better. One of the benefits to being stuck inside is I finally figured out how to get my camera uh, to run through my TV as a monitor so now I can see what I'm looking at and I'll also be able to know if the camera stops recording for any reason along the way, so that's kind of cool. If a little bit weird to have me giant, uh, it's mildly distracting to be able to see myself, I'm not used to that. Anyways, the run was good. I came back, and I showered, I ate a little bit of lunch. I've been making pasta at home uh, at least once a day and then I'll probably be making more pasta, but I've got a couple of different small options. I threw in some sun-dried tomatoes and pickled onions and some coriander just to spice things up a little bit. It's pretty good, it works. But it's interesting because the situation seems to be evolving, which is no surprise. Basically the way that it works is if you have, I had this piece of paper, it's kind of a pain to carry with me, so you have to have this piece of paper that I talked about the other day, where you fill out your address, why you're leaving, and as you can see, I checked the box that said I was gonna go for a run and then signed it and dated it. And you have to have a fresh one of these for every time you go outside. So they won't accept it if the date is wrong, which it seems is an unfortunate waste of paper, but that's the reality. And then uh, I had to carry my ID with me as well. And this thing kept trying to come out of my pocket. So I just wrapped it around my wallet and that seemed to do the trick. I didn't run into any police until I was uh, way out in the park, already basically doing, I think my second lap around the lakes out there. And then there was, very, there were very few people on the street. It was kind of eerie. It wasn't too weird, but it was definitely weird. Like, no traffic. It's almost like first thing on a Sunday morning in Paris. Felt like that. But everywhere and on a Thursday. So that was a little bit, you know, strange, obviously. The thing is that they're, they're finding people anywhere from 38 to 135 euros, I believe, for infractions. So if you don't have your piece of paper on you, if you're not doing what you are supposed to be doing if you're not keeping your distance from people. I'm not exactly sure what all they're finding people for, but they're handing out fines and they're going up to the upper end of those fines. So it's gonna be like 135 years from now on. I heard that they're closing down the river because nobody's respecting the rules down on the river apparently, so thanks for ruining that for us. Bouchon was just telling me that they're gonna make the restriction about 500 meters from wherever it is you live. So those of us who are going for longer runs, like me going way out to try and find a park, might be constricted to just running in town, which I'm okay with, I'm fine. I'm still happy that I can go out and run. That's kind of the biggest thing, because it's good to go out, get some exercise, get some fresh air. 
that's what I'm really after. But it'd be kind of sad. I'm like, I'm already a little bit sad that I'm not going to be able to run down on the river. Um, although I have a friend who got stopped by the cops and talked to, and they were saying that because they're closing everything down on the, on the river, that the only way to run down along there is to get there basically at five or six in the morning. And then they're closing it after 9 a.m., something like that. I don't know exactly. Those are rumors at this point. That's hearsay. I haven't talked to the police directly. They didn't stop me uh, when I was out for a run. They didn't stop anybody. They were just on their bikes kind of observing, I think. So we'll just see how this develops. And if I have any awkward experiences, I'll be sure to let you know. But today was fine. I did feel a little bit nervous going out, to be totally honest. Like, it was a little stressful stepping outside. Last night, I did order food. One of the nice things, again, if you're in, if you're in Paris, uh, food delivery is still on the table. So if you want to support one of your local restaurants that you love that happens to still be open, jump on like whatever delivery app you prefer, order some food from them, keep them going. The delivery driver was really cool. He actually like left the bag open on his scooter and had already backed away. So when I came outside, I just walked up, grabbed my food and went inside and then he came back to the scooter and I made sure to tip him on the app because those guys, they're, a lot of those guys are already kind of struggling to make ends meet. Not all of them, I'm sure, but a lot of them are definitely hustling and uh, it's probably good to, to drop some tips. Even though we don't really tip in France, Probably good to throw a little extra love their way as well. So I'm not gonna be ordering a ton of food. I, I have food here. I'm gonna continue to eat uh, and prepare myself, which is good. Um, and honestly, my, my spirits are high. Like I'm, I've been enjoying this for the most part. I just, oh, I made a cup of coffee. I totally forgot that I made this cup of coffee. I was gonna try and have it, I was gonna try and drink it, not before this, but at least have it with me. So I'm only doing like one cup of coffee a day right now as well to try and conserve. Cause I've got, you can see above me, but maybe you can't. I can, at least now I know if you can see it or not. I have this fresh bag that I bought from KB right before we got shut down because I knew it was coming and I can't wait to open it. And then I have this bag that you already saw that Pat sent for me. Thanks, Pat. So I think I'm going to be good, actually. If I just have like one cup of coffee a day, I think this is going to last a while. I might start mixing between them because why not? Um, but uh, it's tasty. Thanks, Pat. And it's a reminder, again, to, well, I mean, I don't know how we're going to get fresh coffee in a, like a month, but I don't know. It's, it's a hard time for a lot of people. Thankfully, it seems like the actions that Macron's taking, I don't want to get into politics, but I've been reading some economic forecasts and they're saying that the steps that he's taking should hopefully help to ease off the uh, massive economic uh, fallout that this is probably going to have, which I hope is true. But in the meantime, I don't know, I still want to make sure that I support these guys and uh, whatever friends I have in, the, in what, it, I don't know, I just want to make sure to do what I can. People were saying that you could buy gift cards from your favorite uh, restaurants and businesses that you want to support to use later. I think that's not a bad idea. I guess I'm just worried that that's like, um, kind of like a near term solution for a long term problem. Uh, but I don't know, I'm not, an, I'm not an economist. I don't know. Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good. I got a lot of work that I've been getting done. I've been streaming a lot, which has been a lot of fun. I actually have to jump on a phone call right now with Richard and Kate. So we're staying in touch. Kate's been working really hard on the newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, you can still get my photos that way and some updates from Paris. And we're gonna try and treat it like you're getting the COVID stuff from every direction. So we're gonna try and treat the newsletter a little bit like, hey, let's just, what was what is spring in Paris like? What would what can you do when you're able to come back? Like just looking at Paris the way that we love Paris and not uh, focusing too heavily on all this madness. So she's gonna be highlighting the 20 and 20, which if you wanna go watch the 20 and 20 as well, I can highly recommend it. I will link uh, above. I can tell which I think it's going to be over here. I'm going to link above to that if you want to watch the 2020. It's a playlist of each of Ronnie's Mountain Paris that I did basically this time last year. So if you want to jump into that, then you can feel like you're wandering around Paris in spring and you're not stuck on your couch like I am right now. Not a bad way to go. So anyways, that's just a quick update from my couch. We're going to keep working on stuff. Go subscribe to the newsletter at jswanson.me slash newsletter. It's a great spot to get it. Kate's been putting a lot of work into that. You can jump on that. It has a little nugget from me and some of my photos of the day and some bonus photos that you're not going to see anywhere else. And then of course, uh, Kate's Corner where she shares parts of Paris that she loves. So if you don't want to just hear it from me, you can hear it from her as well. There are a lot more updates to come. I'm going to keep sitting down and doing little updates like this over the course of the coming weeks. So hopefully that gives you something to look forward to and watch. Uh, I hope you're staying safe. Keep washing your hands. Keep staying as far away from other people as you can. Keep, uh, you know, just take care of yourself. I think that's the most important thing right now. And I will see you bright and early again tomorrow or one of these mornings shortly here on the YouTubes. I guess I'm gonna have to change like the intro graphic. It's no longer a weekly vlog. It's like the quarantine vlogs. Might have to make a new little graphic for that. 
I don't know. I will figure it out. I hope that you're doing great. I'll see you tomorrow or soon. Just go follow me on Twitch. You'll see me a lot on Twitch if you want to come hang out. Mmm, coffee.